Hello, it's a rainy Monday morning, but we're excited to get this week going. It looks like we only have three appointments for Michael, and so that leaves a lot of extra time in our schedule to try and get some projects done. The kids are done with school, and I'm getting the paperwork done to send into the state. The uh, If the weather cooperates, we hope to get the chicken coop done, the trees planted, and... Trees? Oh, fencing. Lots and lots of fencing. But we woke up and it's been raining outside. Actually, we woke up at 4.30 this morning. We heard howling and yelling, and Mike said, that sounds like it's outside. So we ran to the window, which gives us a view of the back of the property and the woods behind us. And wondering what I was going to see, I looked out there and I saw that big moose with the big attitude that I took a picture of. And I think it was, uh, I think it was on the video, it might have been on the blog, but she just had an attitude, and we since uh, realized she's pregnant. So she was standing right outside the back, and our dog, our beagle, was out there howling at her, and our 16-year-old had a trampoline leg and was big and screaming, and so I opened the window and start yelling, get in the house, Alex, get in the house. And Mike says, what's going on? I didn't even answer him. I was mother focused. Get in the house. And so he looked and start, and he starts eating. Alex, get in the house. The dog's on her own. So he came in the house. The moose started towards the dog. The dog started towards the moose. And then she kind of darted up there and gave a big yowl. And then she ran in the house. So that's the closest we've come to a moose uh, encounter other than watching them. And uh, it was an exciting way to start the week. Really praying that moose does not decide that she likes it here because she's been hanging around here. And we do not want her to have her baby um, here on our property because if she does, we especially that close, we're not going to be able to use the yard all summer. And we've got 18 chickens in the kitchen. So <laughs> we need her to rethink her plans. Need an intervention at Lowe's on aisle 83. <laughs> what aisle are we in? So we finished with Mike's appointment and now we're looking at insulation for chicken coops and garden fencing, tree fencing, chicken coop fencing, and lumber. So even though this is not my favorite place to be stranded in, I'm kind of enjoying this outing. So, here we are coming up to what has to be one of the prettiest views a Walmart has. Of course, you're not seeing the pretty view. <laughs> we, yeah, we didn't coordinate on this whole video. And, uh, we didn't get a storyboard out there so that the driver knew. Oh, the driver so. didn't know. So you can see mountains on this side of Walmart and they go all the way around. They kind of ring the place. And Walmart is our best bet for groceries out here. One, two, three. Yep, it's spring. Our tourist season, they're all coming back. We saw the big princess buses today, too. I found chicken. Yuki, get out of there. I found chicken on sale when we went grocery shopping. And so now I have, I found 20 pounds. I got 20 pounds. I kept five for dinner tonight and have 16 pints, so 32 cups of chicken canned. And I also got more hamburger because we went through that pretty quick and I'm gonna we really are liking that so I'm gonna get that going as well okay I can almost hear it why are you canning that stuff why don't you just put it in the freezer well honestly we do have the power go out here we have a small freezer and we're trying to keep it cleared so we can fill it with salmon and moose and caribou or whatever else the guys get this summer or fall so i'm trying to clean it out and not add a lot to it and if i can the meat 
it's cooked. It's ready to go. I can just open it and we've done lasagna, stroganoff, chicken divan, um, fajitas, a whole host of things you can do if you have the meat ready to go. It's really simple and I'm finding I like it. Michael made this little bar for them because they're fighting about who can be on top of the brooder plate and kicking each other off. But as soon as we brought it out, they all ran over to this corner. I put a little bit of food on this, thinking maybe that'll lure them over. So we'll see. Probably by tomorrow morning they'll figure this out. I was hoping they'd kind of like it. We're hoping they can move to the coop this weekend. They're just getting too big for this. And then we'll just keep the little brooder plate in the coop until, for a few more weeks till they're older. So they're coming out of the corner now at least. The silkies do seem to be a little aggressive in our group. Oi! Rooster! Rooster! Rooster? That's it? It's been... Stish has determined the ones that are flying out of no. All the have ones, got to be roosters. That one, that one is huge and dark. There is these, these two, brooder. these two right here seem to have more feathers and be bigger. These little brown spotted ones and than the others. They just seem mean to me. I don't know why, but they seem mean. Well, it was a busy day. We got a lot done. Um, not as much as we thought, but we always think we're going to get way more done than we do. Mike needed to get the tires off the car. The, we have um, studded, that's what they're called, studded tires on the car, and they're supposed to be off by May 1st, so I guess he'll be doing that first thing tomorrow morning, and uh, other than that, we got a whole lot done. We even were able to watch some episodes of Father Brown tonight. <laughs>